Welcome back um, to Ghana, at least. This is home. Yes. Yeah. So, tell us a little bit about your um, the whole experience out there in okay. Hollywood. Um, I went for a project, a movie project, um, uh, a movie uh, produced by a guy called Kobe Maxwell. He's Ghanaian, and it was directed by um, Uche John Uche. And um, I, I mean, I work with people like. Jimmy John Lewis, he's a Haitian Hollywood actor, and um, uh, there was also Miss Universe Haiti and John Dumelo and Bamika. So it was quite a big, a big project, and I was very excited. I'm going all the way to do it. Can you share with us some of the challenges that you were facing? Ah, um, well, the cold. It's been snowing, so I got there, and seven days I was sick. I was sick for like seven. The first seven days I was sick. It was pretty, pretty cold. Um, I'll say the weather. Secondly, the the time difference. I was jet lagged, so um, sometimes I have to keep my eyes wide open, and I'll be sleeping, you know, because because Ghanaians are sleeping, so I have to also sleep. And it was very very hard for me to keep up and you know be in character and, and act. But at the end of the day, yeah, we nailed it. It's, it's gonna come out. So in that sense, would you say that your performance was brought to, uh, what, what was brought to the bear? Uh, no, like I believe that I, I gave it all my I gave it my best, you know. But I'm I'm saying that the first few days were very challenging because of the weather and then the, the time difference. So yeah, I got used to it. How long did you spend? A month. A month. Yeah, they're very slow. They're not like us here, you know. They make sure they set up their cameras, lights, everything is on point before they say action and go. So it was quite long, very very long shoot. So what do you? Um, could you give us an idea about the movie? Uh, um, okay, the movie, the name, the title of the movie is um, One Night in Vegas, and um, it's about me and my husband, John Dumelo, and I wasn't really into the marriage, same old, same old storylines. I wasn't into my, my marriage and my husband, and I cheated on him, I had a baby, it wasn't, it wasn't John's baby, and yeah, it goes on and on, I can't, I can't give out the whole story, so yeah, it's, it's a family story, and it talks about um, betrayal, and all of that. Where was it shot? It was shot in Maryland, in Las Vegas. Yeah. Um, now you're back. Um, we know last year you had a very um, ending of getting to the end of last year. Yeah. Simply married did very well. This time we know the big one coming. Yes. It's House of Gold. Yes. We like it to throw a little line on that too. Um, can you please take your question again? I'm so sorry. Last year. Eugene, please come here. I beg you. Sorry. One minute. One minute. Sorry, I'm here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Last year, um, Single and Married had, and getting to the end of last year, Single and Married had a very good um, response this year. Coming up with Hunter yeah. Yeah, Single and Married was the best movie in Ghana. I'm not last bragging, year. but yeah, we won the best picture, so yeah. Okay. So this year, um, also good. Yeah, I decided to, to spice up things again. Um, I brought in people like Ice Prince and Omar Omi. Last, last year with Single Married, I used Ghanaian musicians and I wanted to spice up things again. I used uh, Umaomi and Ice Prince and Francis Odega from Nigeria. I had like four people or five people from Nigeria. And um, yeah, I believe they have their own audience, their own markets, and I'm targeting, you know, it's all a marketing strategy. I'm not just thinking, oh, let's just shoot a movie. I'm also thinking about the marketing part of it. That's why I brought some people like Ice Prince and Umaomi. And it's a good movie, it's comedy, it's a, it's a family story. People love to, you know, sit back and, and watch it laugh. So what do you what do the fans expect to see in this? Um, the best, the best. People should come out and see Ice Friends act, see your mouth be um, Francis Odega, Maji Michelle, Eddie Watson, myself, Lucky Lawson, uh, Sandra and Kobia. Yeah, it's packed, it's packed. 
Eddie, say something. Eddie, say something. Yeah, <laughs> tell us something. <laughs> something yeah, she said, you know, the movie is very great. Uh, House of Gold is going to be very great. I'm um, sure Benians are going to love it. And we are going to have, you know, a good time. When you come out to watch the movie, you're going to be proud of it. That it's produced in Ghana, produced by Ivan Nelson. So, uh, and media GH. And media GH. Is it media GH or media Ghana? Um, I mean, oh, yeah. Either way. Yeah, media, way it's media GH. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Can you please tell us something small about the role that you played? Oh, I I played um, the colleague of uh, Omaomi, her character in the movie. Um, uh, we had a kind of uh, uh, marriage arrangement, you know, to uh, she was trying to get that to her sister, Yvonne, you know. And then brought this handsome guy, you know, nice guy, you know. Yeah. And she was like tripping, like, oh, what's this cute guy? Yeah, that's about it. But we were, it was all comedy, you know, all fun, trying to, you know, bring out the family story. All right, so finally, could you compare the movie scene here in Ghana as far as uh, uh, our lady here was saying that uh, the duration was not all that uh, fast as compared to here in Ghana? Would you say that Ghana is doing well as compared to the other neighboring countries? Yeah, I think I think Ghana we're doing well because uh, uh, we we should move it like especially film, yeah, cinema movies for like uh, fourteen days or more sometimes, and then you see you go in, in Nigeria sometimes people are shooting for like five, six days, seven days, eight days. So it's like Kumasi. I think in Kumasi it's been less than that, but in Accra, like we and we we're trying to. Um, even the quality of our pictures, as you can see, we try to use better cameras, we try to use a um, uh, better lighting system and everything, so um, good actors and, you know, everybody's stepping up the game, so we're doing pretty really great. Right, Okay, wait, so, um, uh, Eddie, we, want, we would like to know if uh, in the near future you also like to produce your own movie, just as your colleagues are doing. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, hopefully, I'm going to do that, yeah. Come and see. Um... Give and take, yeah, uh, pretty much sooner than you expect. And uh, which people do you have in mind? <laughs> Mention my name first. <laughs> you have Ivan Elsie, uh, yeah, of course, she's gonna be part of it. And uh, you know, we're just gonna try to get the best cast possible, you know, to be a part of our projects now because we're striving for the best. Yes, yep, I also have, since um, I want to talk about the House of Gold, you've worked with Media um, Ghana. That's with the first single married with the House of Gold, and you just said single married was the best last year. What has been the um, the relationship? Has it been like so far? Relationship with I mean, working with um, Media GH. Fantastic, fantastic. Okay. I, I think it's been great. Uh, we've had a warm relationship with uh, Media GH and um, Yvonne. It's been making sure that things. Tell them how I treat you. Yeah, great. You know, that's it's like the best set ever. You know, <laughs> the best set ever. So we'll be having a great time. Media G, yeah, we're doing pretty well, and we appreciate them. Well, lastly, from my side, um, has been has it been like working with Ice Prince? Ice Prince, Ice Prince is my friend. So um, it didn't even look like we're working. You know, it was all like all of us, all of us. It was all yes, fun. I've been following your tweet. You have? What did you see? <laughs> <laughs> what did you see in my tweets? He's a friend, so it wasn't, it didn't even look like we're working. It was just, you know, having fun on set. All right, so it's very final work before yeah. we take you over. Yeah, I want people to come out um, on the 12th of April. Come out and see the movie. You're not going to regret it. You laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. It's a fun movie. And come with your friends and family. Come and see it. Everybody's going to be there, so don't miss it. Love you guys. One more question. In three. Oh, hi, I'm Fantic Rameka. Yeah, Rameka. Hmm, Edit, uh, because sometimes um, producing and acting, sometimes no. Um, maybe as I did, if I always seen as I was shooting, but to be completely so per se, or per se, or per se, combining the two, no, it's very hard. But as a human being, you should challenge yourself. And yet, they are now better now, so now they want to solve a challenge. So I decided to produce because I wanted to challenge myself. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, me an actress. So, like I said, I challenge myself to produce. So, if there are any, you know, scripts and any new projects coming up, yeah, why not? I'm always game for it. As long as we we all understand each other. You want to act? Act in the movie to produce the movie. Is it because? Not really. I don't want to go into it like solely. Like, okay, I'm a producer now. No acting. I'm very very concerned about my acting career as well. You know, so it's not just producing for me. Like I'll be going to Nigeria for, uh, next week, maybe after the premiere to, to shoot. So yeah, this year I'm going to be shooting. But I will produce if the chance comes out. So let's talk about your relationship with the media. You are known. Do I have to, to answer that here? Yes, of course, it's very important. Uh huh. They say you have blacklisted some people. I I haven't blacklisted yeah. anyone. When they they come. Okay, you know what? Them. So I'll just say one thing, and I'm going to give examples of websites. Okay. Yes. I'll, I'll give one example. Okay. A website like Bella Niger, yeah. they hear a story, yeah. they they call you or they contact you to hear your side of the story. Good. That's that's what every blogger or every website has to do. You don't hear a story and just go, or you take my pictures from Instagram, and you just yeah. go and put it out there and go like, oh, look at her crooked legs, or oh, okay. look at that. Okay. Think about it. If it was you, how would you feel? I'm not mentioning names, yeah, but I'm saying that if you hear a story, just call whoever. Find out the other side of the story and put your own side if you want. I mean, that's that's you. So yeah, I haven't blacklisted anybody, this but I just this respect. This is a station they try to contact you, but you, don't no. Think you are not no. ready to speak. No, no, nobody contacts. Me. Trust me. Ah, oh, that's me. a lie. I, I know, I know. Sometimes they call lie. Francis. Francis. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's yeah. the biggest <laughs> lie ever. I remember before. I used to. I know where you are coming. I know. From. I used to talk to you guys, yes. but you guys started. You know. So it's, not, it's not just me. It's not just me. So I am maybe, very outspoken. Yeah, okay. You know, it's not just me. You do it to a lot of people, but yeah. I think you guys need to. Okay. So maybe from today, you're going to change. From today, way, yeah, change? Yeah. I've always been this way. You, you guys able, don't you call me. You should be able to speak with anybody wants to tell you. you. Okay, yeah. great. So call me. Thanks. Call me. <laughs> call me. Okay, no, no, no. Thank so you guys pictures. for coming. Oh, God, I'm sweating. <laughs> 